This is Julian Marshall with News Hour Live from the BBC in London. The UN brokered Black Sea grain deal could be said to have represented some sort of local truce between Russia and Ukraine, whereby Russia ended its blockade of Ukrainian Black Sea ports and allowed safe passage for vital grain exports. But last month, Russia withdrew from the deal and hostilities have since resumed. And in the latest incident, a Russian warship fired warning shots at a merchant vessel heading to the Ukrainian Danube port of Ismail. The ship was then boarded, inspected and allowed to continue on its way. Ukraine has described the incident as an act of piracy, piracy rather, and promised a response. Dr Matthew Schmidt is Associate Professor at National Security Department of New Haven University and he's on the line. Uh, Russia has basically said, or rather done, what it said it was going to do, which was to um, threaten any vessels approaching Ukrainian ports. That's right. It, uh, the interesting thing in this incident is that it actually fired uh, on the ship and then it uh, boarded the ship and it went through the full theater of boarding the ship using helicopters, doing a full inspection. Uh, but then it let the ship go, which is what the interesting part here is. And the ship, as far as I checked on, on the maps just a few minutes ago, is still headed on to its final destination. So why did the Russians therefore do what they did? Was it just showmanship? I think it was important showmanship, uh, this kind of kabuki theater, where what they're trying to do is is mark out to the rest of the world and say, we will do this. And uh, because they have done it, I think what you look for tomorrow is the spot price of wheat. And you look at insurance prices uh, coming out of Lloyd's to, 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 uh, to shipping on the Black Sea, because what they're trying to do is essentially scare off that trade, right? Scare off that shipping, uh, which is going to block Ukraine from exporting goods. So this was by way of deterring any future cargo vessels from entering Ukrainian ports. That's exactly right. Um, and there's a risk that if they were to actually use force on, on a, a vessel, the Russians were to use force, that that would lead to escalation. It would bring in the heavy NATO presence that's right there. Remember, Romania is a NATO country. Um, so I think this was very very carefully calculated to essentially affect insurance prices uh, and the price of wheat. But that region has become more volatile, has it not, of late? Uh, we've had these U uh, Russian attacks on uh, the Ukrainian Danube port of Ismail. We've had these uh, Ukrainian sea drone attacks on uh, Russian naval vessels. That's right. They have uh, the main ports uh, in Odessa and, and nearby regions essentially bottled up with the fleet. And what they're doing here, moving for, uh, further to the southwest, is closing off that last port on the Danube. There's a series of locks that you can, you can go from, the, from there on the Danube, essentially all the way to the North Sea. Um, you can move wheat, you can trade those economies, uh, the, but it's those commodities, but it's slow and you can't get as much through there. But it, that's the last one that's left for Ukraine. So closing it off is going to hurt. So can we take it uh, very briefly that uh, Russia has no intention, therefore, of returning to this uh, UN-brokered Black Sea grain deal? I don't see that happening right now. Russia is engaged in a long war strategy. They are trying to strangle Ukraine uh, into negotiations on Russia's terms. And we have to remember that for whatever you see on the battlefield happening, the truth is that Ukraine's economy uh, is suffering. And uh, we're, you know, we're, we're, we're close to two years now. We're halfway towards the second year of suffering for this economy. And it's very unclear how much more Ukraine can take. And that's Russia's ultimate long war strategy here. Dr. Schmidt, many thanks. Dr. Matthew Schmidt, Associate Professor, National Security Department of New Haven University.